Hi, everyone. In my six years of posting, I have to say the hardest part of this is in the recent years watching so many subscribers have to suffer the consequences of the weather events, of, of all of the poisons that we are subjected to coming down with very serious medical, medical conditions, hearing from subscribers, husbands having heart attacks and dying, hearing from subscribers who are young, young in their 20s and 30s and 40s getting diagnosed with conditions, the weather events, the fires. So I got this email today from a subscriber Prayer is requested. We have a major fire in our area. We are safe. It is two, three ridges from us and wind blowing away. At this time, our pastor Russ's son, Mike, and his family and Mike's in-laws have lost their homes. It is believed the Feather River Hospital can't evacuate and are sheltering in place. Many friends evacuating now went from 10 acres to now over 8,000. It's now, the last I heard, 18,000, and it started this morning at 6 a.m. Many people can't get out and are sheltering in place. The entire town of Paradise is evacuating. And based on my research of just a few minutes ago, it seems that the town of Paradise, I don't know if anything is left. We have been chemtrailed beyond belief for nearly the past two weeks, and we believe they stopped a couple of rainstorms, haven't had rain, and this is absolutely not normal. Normally, we've been drenched with rain by now. Please be in prayer. Many people are trapped, no structure protection, emergency personnel just trying to save lives. Please ask everyone to pray, and I am asking all of you to please honor this request. I have to tell you, I feel like bursting into tears. My stomach is upset, and this is paradise. Here's another house, uh, Sunset Oaks. There's a house that seems to have survived the fire for now. Um, and then there's a building next to it that seems to have burnt down. Okay, so we have the house gone the house hit and the trees right next to it and in the back as you can see still have the foliage on it this is what we are living in over and over and over again it's either a mass shooting event or a weather event flash flooding that has destroyed so many people's homes just this past year these fires destroying people's homes targeted hits. I will link below to everything, but I have to tell you, this is really, really hard. Um, it's, it's bad. We are following other news in this area. Uh, in Newbury Park, which is just right next door to where we are here in Thousand Orcs, you, I can actually see a brush fire that has broken out, one of multiple fires here in California this afternoon. Uh, right next to Thousand Oaks, where the mass shooting occurred. 
farther north, uh, wildfires burn at least 18,000 acres. Terrible conditions for fires here in California today. This is a cleared out the town of Paradise, the one you're looking at on your screen right now. Rachel Wolf from our CBS Sacramento station, KOVR, has more. The fire in the foothills of the Sierra Mountains turned day into night. Right about a half a mile up this road, we're being told by crews that it's fully engulfed in flames. 30,000 residents were told to evacuate by early afternoon with wind gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour. The fire was exploding and nearly doubled in size. Randy Bartell was surprised by the speed of the fire. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, we had to drive through flames on both sides of the mountain. At one point, a California Highway Patrol deputy was trapped. We're totally surrounded by fire. I have people in the car and the road is blocked. We need assistance immediately. At this point, because of the blustery conditions, they're not doing flame drops, instead using helicopters, which can drop the water lower. At this point, though, the fire is 0% contained. Back to you, Jeff. Rachel, thank you very much. All right. Um... We are going to have more on this shooting later on here, but... just that they were going to shut the power off, but you need it for the next five days, up to five days because of the wind. And then at 8.30, we see there's a fire burning. And then ashes start falling out of the sky. And Huge ashes, like this big. <laughs> and yeah. leaves. Yeah, up to two inches. Yeah, and I have burning leaves coming down out of the sky, which is starting to spot fires. And they start evacuations over there on Pence Road. And then by 11.30, we were evacuating. Our power was up on Clark. We had to get out. Oh, the picture was one when I was leaving at 11.30 and coming out on Clark Road, then the flames right across the road was on fire, plus the trees up and down Clark Road were on fire when we were coming out, and that's right by the airport. Yeah, but I used to live in Concow. I've been through three forest fires, and I moved out of there because of them. The sea was calm. I was like, I've never been in a fire. And I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I felt bad about the Reading fire, and I thought I would be prepared, but no. I mean, it's scary seeing all that flames and the smoke and just it you know everybody just needs to get out you know for your for your safety you know leave all out. right well i'm not sure how people are getting out um i want to show you the uh the road closures which is where i had it open i'm sorry um well, here, I'm going to link below to all the information. The Cal Fire, uh, the fire.ca.gov site started this morning, 6.30 a.m. And by 3.15 p.m., it was 18,000 acres. Headlines are reading uh, that... Campfire devastates paradise near Chico. So I hope I hear from my subscriber in Chico. Hospitals, church, businesses, numerous homes burned. Gone. Um, my, I don't know what's going on with my computer, but it seems to be very slow. Here are the fabulous pictures. This is what we're living, guys. They want everybody into the mega regions. Look, all of the people who are going to leave comments saying that I'm a crazy nut job, don't even bother because you will just be removed. That's it. Look at how many areas they are targeting in these rural uh, communities in Northern California. And they are setting off more and more fires, wanting people who have not experienced a fire yet to just move. When you see all of these fires taking place, I'm sure people in California especially are just feeling like it's only a matter of time. And they don't understand that this is an orchestrated agenda. 
But we who do understand, are you not feeling sick to your stomach watching this over and over again? Because I am. The It's kind of scary to see the road closures. And Look at look at all of these road closures. How are people getting out of this area? Chico. So based on what that subscriber said, the winds were going in another direction, so I really hope that she's okay and uh, I will link below. But this thing is traveling at a speed, apparently. Like 80 football fields a minute. That was one of the headlines. Yeah, CNN. Um, was it, if you guys in this area, was it winds that just came out of nowhere. I, the whole place was in flames. Residents flee as campfire tears through California towns. So they're blaming this on a campfire. Evacuation routes were clogged with people attempting to flee. This, these are the latest this is the latest news coming out now. Concerns about whether they could escape. So 30,000 people have fled for their lives. And numerous homes gone, businesses churches. Um, th this is the last update. I'm not sure when it will be updated again. But 18,000 18, acres in what? 15 hours? Please I really hope that you honor my subscribers' request for prayers. I hope to God that people are able to get out of these areas. It's 0% contained. Now, for my other subscribers in Northern California, how close are you? I don't want to mention any names because I, I never got permission to, so. All right, I will link below. Please do send your prayers.